Hi everyone. So you probably come here because you suffer from anxiety or you know someone who suffers from anxiety. So I also suffer from anxiety and I have battled panic attacks since I was a little girl. It's not an easy experience to have and usually it's suffered alone. So I'm here to share with you a few tips on how to reduce the symptoms and consequences of having a panic attack right in the moment when you're having them. The first one that you could do is to shock your body. And what I mean by that is to do something completely different than what you're doing. Normally when we have a panic attack, our breathing gets really shallow and hard to breathe. Tears might come in. You might feel an overwhelming sensation to cry or scream. And you usually just retreat. I have found myself in a bathroom stall several times crying and freaking out because of an emotional outburst. So if you're in this situation, you can, if you have enough space, do some jumping jacks. Just get right into it and jump up and down, flailing your arms and legs and notice your attention change and your focus having to go back to breathing because of the physical activity you're engaged in. Another way would be to go for a sprint if you're outside, for instance, and you have the space to do so. But if you're stuck in a bathroom stall, like I was most times, high knees. Lift your knees up to your chest, lower them down. You can do like a march in place or jumping if that's an option for you. Give that a try and let me know if that works for you. The second kind of instant relief you can get is by crossing your arms and your legs. So you'll literally wind up crossing your arms across your chest, crossing your legs and laying down on the floor. If the floor isn't available to you, you could always lean up against a wall or even do this in your chair if you're sitting at work or at school. The last one is something more suitable for your home space. Uh, go into a child's pose and if you're familiar with yoga you'll know that this is where you take your knees to the ground sit back on your heels and then bring your chest forward and down resting your head on stacked fists or the floor you'll want to let your belly hang out and focus on massaging this part of your head this is going to connect you to your central nervous system and calm your sympathetic nervous system I really hope that these tips help. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And if you have any other tricks that I may not have heard of, please feel free to share. I would love to know more about it. Thanks. Have a great day.